Hey guys, this video is all about collision theory. This is a model that we use to describe what's going on with the particles when we observe a change in the rate of a reaction. So let's get started. Collision theory is all about what we need to do to make particles react successfully. I'm defining a successful reaction by saying that when the two reactants combine together to make the products. So in this case, in any reaction, the particles must do certain things in order to react successfully. Number one on this list is that they must hit each other. We say the particles must collide with each other. The second thing is that the particles must hit each other with enough energy. We define that as the activation energy, which is the minimum energy required for particles to react successfully. All particles must have greater than or equal to this threshold of energy in order to react successfully. There is a third one that often isn't uh, included in GCSE syllabuses, which is that particles also really need to have the corre correct geometry, which means that they have to hit each other at the right angle in order to get that successful reaction. What this means is that to increase the rate of a reaction, you really only have two options. You have to increase the frequency at which those particles collide with each other, or you have to increase the energy that the particles are hitting each other with. So if you check out the following videos on how temperature and concentration affect rate of reaction, you'll see how we can use this model to describe what's going on with the particles.